We all have those moments where we want to crawl into a deep hole from sheer embarrassment. Those times where you said thanks you two to the waiter at a restaurant when they said to enjoy your meal, or when you spent an entire evening calling someone by the wrong name. We've all been there and so have many celebrities. So let's talk about a few of them as we count down the top 10 most embarrassing celebrity moments Part four. At number 10, Whoopi Goldberg. I think we've all had one of those moments where we try to quietly let out a fart and it just comes out louder than expected. Trying to be sneaky about it doesn't always work out and the same went for Whoopi Goldberg, or at least that's what she tried to convince us of. In December of 2014, Whoopi was on air of The View talking with singer Ashanti about flu shots. While in the middle of the conversation, a loud noise was heard which sounded like a long toot, which ended the conversation pretty abruptly. Not get the shot. Mm. I feel like why do I want to inject something into my skin that's gonna make Excuse me. Whoopi stood up and excused herself for her gassiness, blaming it on a breakfast burrito that she had earlier. Why is it always the burritos that get blamed for these things? Burritos do not deserve that kind of bad rep. Anyway, the embarrassing incident was dubbed Fartgate and the clip of the incident was being circulated around the internet, being viewed thousands of times. In the end though, Whoopi came out and said that it wasn't actually a fart and that it was a noise that just came out of nowhere and she decided to be funny and play it off. Maybe that's true or maybe she was just so embarrassed that she needed to blame it on something else. There wasn't a dog there, so she had to say, you know, anything. At number 9, 50 Cent. For a lot of celebrities, throwing the first pitch at a baseball game can be a momentous moment in their careers. Being one of the members of the Celebrity Baseball Club, you would be joined by singers, actors, and even some members of Sesame Street. So your first pitch may hold the attention of many. Unfortunately for rapper 50 Cent, his first pitch was one of his most embarrassing moments just because it was so, so bad. And his first pitch was not great. Just a bit outside. His first pitch has been dubbed one of the worst first pitches in history because of how terrible that throw was. It is said that his throw was about 20 feet off course and that the ball nearly hit a cameraman. He made a big deal about his physique and athleticism leading up to this and even had some great throws while practicing, but I guess you can say he dropped the ball on this one. Ha. I'm not funny. When asked what went wrong, his excuse was that he threw out his arm from uh, pleasuring himself too much. So do with that information what you will. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please consider leaving a like on the video because it really helps to support the channel. At number eight, Billie Eilish. If you are a famous performing artist, I'm sure that one of the worst things that could happen to you on stage is forgetting your own song. Well, unfortunately, this is exactly what happened with Billie Eilish at her concert at Coachella. During her 2019 performance, Billie was singing her song, All the Good Girls Get to Hell, when she suddenly forgot the words to her song. In the moment, you could tell that Billie was a little flustered by her brain fart, but her loyal fans came to her aid as they sang her song and helped her get back on track. This was her first time performing at an event like this, so that kind of pressure was probably what caused her to slip up like that, but it must have still been quite embarrassing for her. At number seven, Adele. Are you guys familiar with that scene in Mean Girls where Katie breaks the spring fling queen crown into pieces and shares it with the other girls? Well, that's kind of what happened with Adele at the 2017 Grammy Awards. Adele ended up winning the award for album of the year for her album 25, beating out Beyonce's Lemonade album. Well, this win took Adele by surprise and when she was giving her acceptance speech, she said that she didn't deserve the award saying, quote, I can't possibly accept this award and I'm very humbled and very grateful and gracious, but my life is Beyonce. And the album to me, the Lemonade album, Beyonce was so monumental and so well thought out, end quote. Well, in an almost mean girl sort of way, Adele ended up snapping her Grammy in half on stage. In the embarrassing moment, people thought that Adele was breaking her award in half to symbolically share it with Beyonce, but it turns out the break was just an accidental embarrassing moment. Luckily, the Academy was able to replace it with a brand new one though. At number six, Sofia Vergara. Wardrobe malfunctions are very unfortunate events for anyone, but imagine how embarrassing that must be for a celebrity. Having malfunctions while surrounded by cameras and prying eyes must take the embarrassment level up to a million because you know that these pictures are going to live on the internet forever. Well, for Sofia Vergara at the 2012 Emmy Awards, this is kind of what happened to her. Just 20 minutes before winning an Emmy for the show Modern Family, Sofia had a wardrobe malfunction that caused her dress to rip, tearing a hole along the backside of her dress. 
The dress zipper broke, exposing Sophia's bare butt, and she even had someone take a picture of it for her so she could see the damage. Being a good sport about it, she shared some of the images of the malfunction with her followers and kept them updated on her dress's status over the course of the night. She was able to just laugh it off since it wasn't a huge deal after getting it fixed, but it still must have been quite the embarrassing moment. At number 5, Katy Perry. Back in 2008, when Katy Perry was just blowing up, she was asked to perform at the MTV Latin America Awards. She was still riding the hype from her song I Kissed a Girl, so the award show figured that bringing her in would get them a lot of viewers. Well, let's just say that her appearance at the show was totally worth it. While performing her hit song, Katy had a giant cake brought out as a prop. Yes, a real cake with real icing. Anyways, during her performance, she decided to jump onto the cake, but not very gracefully though, more like a belly flop, covering herself in frosting. Well, as if that wasn't embarrassing enough, after she got off the cake, she started sliding around, unable to keep her balance. She ended up falling several times, failing to get up because the icing was so slippery and even her guitarist was having a hard time keeping her up. This all happened live, so I'm sure it was super embarrassing for her. The award show, however, brought in some serious media attention after that. At number four, Matthew McConaughey. One of Matthew McConaughey's more embarrassing moments has to come from his arrest in 1999, where he was detained while naked in his house playing bongos. It's a wild story. Basically, Matthew was just living his best life playing bongos goes and getting high while on his couch naked when the police were called and arrested the actor for quote, disturbing the peace. He described his night as being a jam session where he opened his windows while listening to African beats and smoking until he was interrupted by police officers barging into his house and handcuffing him on the ground. Matthew also recalled refusing to cover himself up while being detained. While being escorted from his house, he recalled his neighbors gathering and watching him from their houses. By the next morning, news of this incident broke around the world, and two days later, Bongo Naked t-shirts were being sold. This embarrassing moment ended up becoming merch, and his unfortunate jam session is now one of his most famous embarrassing moments. At number 3, Madonna. Remember in the Incredibles movie when Edna Mode said no capes? <laughs> Well, Madonna should have listened to that. While performing at the Brit Awards in 2015, Madonna experienced some embarrassment with a side of whiplash after an unfortunate cape incident. It all happened when she was performing a bit of a stunt where she was supposed to untie the cape that she was wearing for her dancers to rip off dramatically, but things didn't really turn out that way. Instead, Madonna wasn't able to untie the cape since it was tied too tight, and so when the dancers went to yank off the cape, she was pulled down too. In a turn of events, Giorgio Armani released a statement about the incident since the cape in question was made by their company, saying that the cape originally had a hook, but Madonna insisted that she have strings instead, so the malfunction wasn't their fault. Luckily, the singer wasn't too badly injured and was able to carry on performing after the incident, but it was still an embarrassing moment. At number two, Drake. Speaking of Madonna, she was the cause of one of Drake's embarrassing moments back in 2015. While performing at Coachella that year, Madonna planted a big old kiss on the rapper and he did not take it well. Drake's disgusted reaction of the kiss went viral online, mainly Vine. <laughs> oh, how I miss Vine. Later on, Drake issued a statement about the kiss saying that his reaction was taken out of context and that he wasn't grossed out because of the kiss itself, but because of the gross taste of her lipstick. It was still a funny moment and it was a little embarrassing for Drake, but amazing meme fuel. At number one, Justin Bieber. Earlier we talked about how Billie Eilish forgot the words to her own song, but here's another instance of a singer failing to perform their own song. But instead of it being because of nerves or pressure, it was just chalked up to language. 2017 was the year of Despacito. Everyone was obsessed with the song, that is until we got sick of hearing it on the radio every 10 minutes. Well, when asked to perform his hit song, Justin had a little trouble, and not only was it embarrassing, it was just plain sad. Instead of singing the real words to his song, he instead replaced the lyrics with Spanish words that he already knew. For example, he sang, quote, I don't know the words, so I say Dorito. I don't know the words, so I say Poquito, and I ate a burrito. I'm not very fluent in Spanish, but I'm pretty sure those aren't the words. 
You would think that he would at least know enough Spanish to get through his own song, but sadly no. Instead, he sort of made a fool of himself on stage and pretty much butchered his own song. Now, I wanna know what your most embarrassing moment has been. I know we've all had some embarrassing things happen to us, so tell me one of your cringiest experiences down in the comments. But in the meantime, let's get to some comment shoutouts from our video of the top 10 celebrities who tried to warn us about Kanye West. Lunky says, love Chris Evans, didn't know who Kanye was before Kim K. I honestly didn't really know either. I kind of knew Kanye, not that much, but like, I feel like Kim made Kanye more than Kanye made Kanye. Is that, like, does anyone else think that? Or is it just me? Medic Lady says, Kanye as president, hard pass, or more like hell to the no. Yeah, I think he can just stay in his own lane of music and weird things on Twitter. Don't need him in the White House. It's already a mess, we don't need more. Jerry Jackwagon says, I guess I'm not wrong about Mr. West. I've never really liked him. I do feel for him a bit over his mental issues. I mean, yeah, as much as we love to hate on him, he also is struggling a lot with his mental health. And I think we just need to cut him a little bit of slack. But again, do not elect this man. Emily QS says, Kanye has enough on his plate with his mental health and his personal life. He needs to focus on that and be a leader. He does not ever need to run our country. Exactly, please, please. 2024, please don't vote for him. We don't need that kind of drama again. Guys, let him just make his music and rant on Twitter. That's it, cool. <laughs> Thanks so much for your comments and for sticking around to the end of the video. I've been your host, Free Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay hydrated, guys. Bye.